so I played through this Mass Effect series of games that everyone said, oh, it's the best trilogy of games ever, it's the best, it's the best. I played through them all, and this isn't going to be a review, it's going to be more of a rant. I have a lot of things to say about it. The first Mass Effect was pretty good. You know, it's a sci-fi kind of game, you travel around in this universe that's really well thought out, you know. Some games are just to give you, like, a, a story, and it's a linear plot and stuff like that. Like, there's no deviating from that, and you can't really explore and do anything like that. It's like, well, that's boring, you know. That's old gaming, you want new gaming, you know. When we're nerds here, we want to see, like, movie, movie quality storylines and stuff like that. We want... So high quality cinematic action, blah blah blah. That's, that's, what the, that's what the kids want these days in their video games. That or they want to play crappy first person online shooters like Call of Duty. Well, in that respect, Mass Effect really came through big time. And of course, one translate to Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, so no playthrough is ever going to be the same. When I played through, I mean playing all three of the games back, 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 which is what I did, because I wanted to see well, what's all this hype, what's all the hype about, what was this game? Well, I like the first one pretty good, except for one problem. Yeah, one problem. I'll tell you what it is: the car, the Marco, the, the vehicle you drive around on the planet, sucks. Terrible driving controls, like terrible. I played some pretty bad racing games and other games where the controls just garbage. Uh, I mean, I played DreamWorks Racer for the Wii, and the control on that was so bad, I took the game and threw it against the wall, but this just is, might even be worse than that. Like, that's really terrible. Like, okay, you know, it's a good game. Why are you complaining about one thing? Well, you want to play a good game, but there's one factor about the game that you're trying. You're doing something, or something's going on, it's all good, it's pretty good, but just one small thing that just drags it down into me, not mediocrity, it's still a very good game, but it's like, well, this is really necessary, and you know what, they didn't think it was necessary, because I'll tell you what, after Mass Effect, the first one, they got rid of that stupid thing. Didn't see it again. Oh, it came back in the Mass Effect 2 DLC. We're not here to talk about DLC. I talk about DLC separately. I'm not even going to talk about the DLC for these games because I haven't played it yet. Yeah, that's right. I haven't played the DLCs yet. And I'm probably not going to. I don't want to pay for extra content. Put the, con put the content in with the game or make a new game. Like, it's half out. We had this idea. But we want more money, so we're not going to put it out just yet. But in six weeks, we're going to release it and ask a genius idea. Well, no. This is the way to get more money. Piss off. Mass Effect 2, one of the great games of uh, all time, if you ask me. It's one of those old, it's one of those classic movie concepts that, you know, Roger Ebert said too. You could find a team, make a team, and then go into action. And that's kind of like an old trope going back to movies all the way back to the 50s. But it really works. It's now on a sci-fi setting. And you're not just collecting a bunch of humans. You're just aliens with distinct personalities and the different races and stuff. And all the characters are like pretty cool. You know, they all have their own unique story. And you, know, you have to go do quests for all of them to reveal some of their backstory. And you actually grow to care about these people as the game goes on. So it's Actually, a pretty good gameplay and, you know, combat for kids these days. Oh, we gotta shoot something, the game sucks. Well, okay. I'll give them that. I'll give them that much. Combat is more fun. Makes the game more fun, usually. But you don't have to have a good game just to combat. And, you know, Mass Effect 2 isn't just a combat race. It was got... Well, I saw one person... Playing thing. Ninety nine percent of the game is story. Well it's a story based game, that's one of the best. Like in other games are supposedly story driven and the story sucks. It's crap. It's like this is the crappiest story that I've seen. I can't remember titles off the top of my head because I play a billion video games every day. Yeah, that's right. A billion. And if by day you mean by if a day means a hundred years, then yeah. 
now we come to the problem of this, why I'm making a rant. Mass Effect 3 ru almost ruins the entire series. Because in the first two games, it's been building up. Oh, the Reapers are coming, it's going to be a showdown, yeah, it's going to be great. Well, first two thirds of Mass Effect 3, it is great. It lives up to the hype. Because many times when you know there's going to be a, what you can call a final conflict, and they spend time building up to the final conflict, so a lot of times the final conflict never lives up to the hype. I remember reading book series, and you know, we all know there was going to be a final battle between good and evil, and it was going to be there, and you got to read 16 books until you get to it, and then when you finally get to it, after your imagination is run wild, and all you want to see is this chromatic, you know, big battle sequence. It's a pile of shit. It sucks. It's not like what you thought at all. Well, done well. You get to see everyone in the universe fighting out with the Reapers. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good stuff, but... The ending. Oh my god, the ending. Now, this is an intellectual video game review channel, or even an intellectual YouTube channel, but the ending that I saw of that game, it didn't make any sense to me at all. Now, maybe it was too advanced for me, but no. I think it was stupid. Like, it made no sense. It didn't resolve anything at all. Nothing was resolved. The ending was a, the ending was a freaking slideshow, basically. After half an hour of talking to a freaking... Baby, ver baby AI. That's basically what I got out of it. Now, of course, I'm sure there's people on If they ever see this video, will come on and say, You don't know shit about what happened. The real idea is this, and this is why. And they'll have 15 pages of essays and, you know, analysts talking about what really went on, and, you know, that's great. But I'm not going to read your walls of text if you have a lot of up. To me, it was a baby AI. And slideshow. It was even worse than the Fallout 3 ending. The Fallout 3 ending was a slideshow too, and a narrator talking over it. Well, guess what? It's even worse than the Fallout 3 ending because you don't even get a narrator to talk over it and explain what's going on, or at least say something interesting. And then the very, very, very last thing that happens in the series is an old man and his kid, and then the kid's like, "Can you tell tell me more stories about Stargate or whatever it was called?" I think that's what they called it. So what is this, what are they trying to say? That the entire series was a made-up story? That is the most annoying thing that ever happens in any form of media. A video game, a book, and then at the end, when they don't know what to do for the ending, oh, it was just a dream, or oh, it was just a story that was written and passed through time. It didn't really happen. Well, of course it didn't really happen. It's a fictional video game. You don't need to have an old man and his kid tell us that. You don't even need to bring that up. Don't even imply that it's not real, because we all know that's fake. Well, not fake in the sense that it didn't it's fake in the sense that it's a work of fiction. Like, you're not really going to fly into space right now and see if Krogans and Tur Turians and Asaris and all that crap. But, you know, don't even acknowledge the fact that it's in universe, keep it. This, this, this sounds really arrogant, no, but keep it. Keep it within realistic. Like, don't imply that it's not real or anything like that. It just raises too many questions, and you know, it just sucks. It doesn't didn't resolve things as good as I thought it would. And, you know, maybe they maybe they'll do better if they make Mass Effect Four. I don't know, but all I know is that. Mass Effect 4 is going to be a lot different because Trad plays a different character for one thing. And, uh, there's my rant. Good series for a while. Good got to the end. Ending almost ruined it.